All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode three of Fake Tactics. I'm your host, Omar Gramo, and we are going to continue on to Rockfall. So in last episode, we had cleared the Dusty Plains, or sorry, the Dusty Road, and uh, we had defeated the gremlins that were in our way as we were in gremlin country. Uh, we'd also came across some gremlins who were supposed to ship off some food over to the gremlin king, which I assume that's going to play into the story a bit later. Now, uh, let's see, we got a few new trait points as we had leveled up. Um, I'm going to go straight into attack just so I can unlock that. Actually, no, wait, because before there was a lock icon above there, and I guess that just meant that uh, Peony was locked as a playable character. But then uh, we unlocked the Gremlin Thief, the Witch, as well as the Mage in the last uh, few sessions. Now, let's see. I can also boost her special, so her move and jump and her reaction. Now, let's see what type of bonuses we'll be getting. Getting 1% reaction out of that, so you know what? Like, we are going to still go straight for damage. Uh, these were the items that we had gotten. Uh, we are going to give Chico some more points into there, and then we're going to give Paiachin some more offensive ability. Alrighty. So, let's continue on. We also have the summons of spells. Actually, let's go take a look to see the other type of spells that we have available. Uh, it's all the current spells that we had, uh, retrieved from that intro level. So, we have the Violent Gale, Rock Slide. Oops, I'm going to want to put that back. Rock Slide. Come on, there we go. Okay, cool. It's done. Excellent. All right, we shall move on to Rockfall. Humans with magical abilities are infrequent occur- Okay, no, we already went through that. Oh, it's an old man in the mechanic shop. That's right, we are on our way to go grab parts for her old bike. Don't you have any of the parts? Sorry, stock's pretty low right now. The parts you're asking for are pretty rare. When will you get some new parts? Can't say, honestly. Nothing's coming to town for weeks because of the bandits. It's always gotta be the bandits. They've been stealing everything that comes down to the roads here. You could try Engenton. As far as I know, they're not having any problems getting supplies. Engenton. Hmm. Thanks for the info. I love how Piachin's just taking a look at the window over there. On the map, it looks like we, I can make it to Engenton in a day if I climb down Ego's Descent. The spell barrier on my bike should last a while. Maybe I should look into this group of bandits. She's, uh, she's a lone savior going and trying to take out a group of bandits. Of course she goes down for that. The man just been a violent dog all game. Orf. And Paichin wants a bit of that action too. Alright, I guess we're off to fight some bandits. Ooh, what do we got? So deal with the bandits blocking the trade route. Or we can make our way down to Engin Enginton. Enginton? Enginton? Okay. Might be Enginton. But let's see. So this is a, a three-star rating plus that. So I, it sounds like it's, it's an elite uh, sort of quest. But you know what? I am up for the challenge. There is no mountain high enough. No, I don't even know how that song goes. I'm not even going to try to attempt it. What do we got? Oh, my God. Is that, is that a centaur? It is a centaur. Wow. Hmm. Oro Wantus. Thieves! Where is Harelia? She will return what she's taken from me. Alright, does it sound like we have a new ally? And we got harpies. Ha ha ha. What are you gonna do? You're outnumbered. The only thing you'll find here is an early grave. Those must be the bandits we heard about back in Rockfall. Alright, we're gonna go help this. Yeah, we gotta help her. Mm hmm. What's this more outsiders? Kill them all. All right. We got a battle, my friends. Let's go. So what do we do? We can edit the party. So we can choose if we want to. Okay, so it gives us the option to do that if we want to. Um, this seems like a very extremely hard quest. So I'm going to put the witch in. Uh, sorry, extremely hard denoted by the skull and, or sorry, the purple skull that was at the very beginning. And I'm going to put the witch in there because she's level 5. Uh, and then we have traits. We've already leveled up our traits for our main characters. Um, I think we're good to go. And the spells, we already know what spells we have. Round 1. And she casts her, her, uh, her trap cards. 
No. Uh -oh. oh no, these little birds give haste. This is not good. Actually, in fact, these guys give agility buffs and haste to each other too, don't they? Oh, she looks pretty overpowered too. I don't think we're gonna have much of a problem. So, what we're gonna do is this guy, I can probably strike him. It seems like the most obvious move, and uh, you know what? I am gonna go and do that. So, we'll do that. Uh, we have our buddy who is next in the chain. So this guy, where is it? Find in the map. Okay, so that guy's gonna go next. Uh, can I make, I can delay this unit's turn. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him, give Chico speed increase plus that. This guy's gonna go ahead and attack Chico. Yes, of course. As expected, she gives herself an agility buff. Now it is the turn of... The Peony? Yeah, it is Peony's turn. All right, cool. So, we're gonna go right over here. We're gonna shoot him. Even if he dodged it, would have gotten a second attack. And look, he dropped some strawberries. Ooh. Ooh, and the poison too. That girl is strong. I'm hoping I'll be able to get her on my team. Uh, we are gonna put the witch on top of here. So I didn't take a look at the witch. Spearling gain plus five attack plus ten defense for each ally on the field of the same element. So is that a uh, an actual passive push? Uh, attack me, push the target away. Yes, uh, that's happened before. Skill bonding, 10% assist. Uh, so I'm gonna jump her up here, give the assist to Peony, and make her face over here. Now, Piachin, uh, can I get him to move in the water? Probably not. So I'm just gonna get him to cast Blessed on himself. I should have made him face not towards the rock. Uh, I am going to. Get Chico to go over there, hit the guy. Excellent. The thief is going to attack. Yes, of course. The thief is going to come through. Oh, he's going straight for Biochip. There's nothing to mess with. Wow, that poison did quite a lot of damage. Okay. And he's getting ganged up on. Now, what? Can, how can I? Can I get over there in time? Um, ooh, this is going to be dicey. And this guy can't make a ranged attack. Uh, I'm going to get him to give himself the agility buff. Hopefully Chico will be able to make it out. Or... Ooh, no. Can I make an attack? I can probably make an attack right here against this guy. Or... No. Ah, I can't use my spell cards yet. So, I'm going to get an attack on this guy right here. Chico's going to attack and get some HP back. Yes, that is right absolutely unstoppable and then the centaur lady comes through ooh what is that what did he drop over there dexterous scroll another item okay we're gonna get the oh no uh i am silly i i completely forgot about the goblin thief behind it's okay piachin is gonna go and he's gonna one shot him critical hit please uh, i'll speak to that but you know what it's fine uh chico can pick that up boy get the item uh we are gonna cast protect I was gonna try to come through and try to 1v1 Chico. I'm gonna get him to roll over, grant her some evading ability, or uh, evade and speed, or speed movement? Yeah, movement, uh, speed. Movement speed, sorry, movement tiles plus, uh, whatever. <laughs> now this is gonna kill him. There we go. It's a critical kill. And we are gonna get the witch to run over here. She's gonna go pick up the card of the, uh, the owl, I believe it was. Now, Piachin can run through. We'll go pick that up. Everyone's gonna make their way slowly over there. Round four, Chico can make it. Wow, look how far Chico can make it. You know what? I'm just gonna go and cast Enchant on this lady. Just because it looks like she might 1v1 the, uh, the Harpy. And I'll also give her... Oh, we just started buffing like crazy, eh? Now Harpy's gonna try to make a move. Oh, I just fell into her trap, didn't I? Okay, so one thing to remember is that enemies also have the ability to use spells, and if you group guys up like this, that's not you're not gonna have a good time at all. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get everyone to split up. Hopefully she doesn't want shadow. Take care, she evaded. That's all I wanted. We can go and pick that up. That's all I wanted to get. Cool. Piachin will go. Bless her right up. Restoring HP, that's right. He acts as a healer. Okay. 
Chico. You know what? These are all ready. Let's try to cast these spells on her. I didn't even take a look at her wind resist or her uh, resistance. What is she? She is a wind type. She's a wind type. That means I can use um, fire against wind and ice. I'm going to move Chico back there. Hopefully he'll be able to pick up the, uh, the food just because. We're going to move our boy right over here. Give yourself an agility buff. Now let's see what she tries to do. And she has 32 HP. So Peony, I will move you over here. You will grant Cloak to him. And hopefully he'll be able to make a back attack. We'll face that direction. She'll make another attack. And she'll evade. So it looks like she might end up using another card. Ooh, this is going to be a bit dicey. And I'm kind of scared of what's going to happen. Uh, Pyachin, you can move. Actually, does somebody need healing? Eee, I'm kind of scared if I walk in there, the, she's going to cast that spell. So I'm going to move Pyachin right over here into the corner. Too bad there's no haze. Is, this, uh, is that clickable? No. Okay, round six. Chico can pick that up, get the item, get some HP back. Now... Can I get over there without her detecting me? Does she see me? Oh, what's she gonna be? Oh, she's gonna reveal all the cloaked units? Oh, no, she's <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, and does... I wonder, does... Do I lose the card after that? Ooh, this is, uh... This is not good. Alright, let's break her shields. Make her move in that... Or look in that direction. Crit, get poisoned. Now the witch will be able to make her move. We'll get a bird's eye attack. We'll also be able to get a spell. So, uh, what did we say? Fire is strong against wind and ice. Unfortunately, we do not have any fire. So what we're going to do is we are going to cast that. And is this going to end it? Ooh, that crit. The harpy stood. No chance against the might of Peony and her friends. Okay, so we got some level ups. Now, I'm scared if I lost the Goblin Thief. Barn Reaper was what the, the owl was and a dexterous scroll. Can't even take a look at it in there. Ooh, I just got here, or I got here just in time. I did not ask for your assistance. You didn't have to. Those guys were clearly up to no good. They've been causing the people in Rockwell Valley a lot of trouble. I came here to stop them. Mm hmm? You're from Rockfall? No, I was just passing through. Like any good Samaritan would, right? When you hear about bandits, you go and take them out and clear out their whole uh, their whole den. So we make it a habit to meddle in others' affairs, or the affair of others. Affairs of others, I should say. I wouldn't call it meddling. I help anyone who needs it. Very pure of heart, Peony. You're going to get killed. I can't even keep her voice consistent. You're going to get yourself killed like that. Humans that can use magic are an ill omen. I'd appreciate if you kept your distance. Wow. Racist. Anyway, you said they took something from you. What was it? It's none of your business, child. I'm going to get it back myself. And there she goes off into the distance. Farewell. All right, good luck, lady. Hey, wait up. I'm coming with you. Okay. Once a man, once a man set out to court a siren. Oh yeah, we we had uh, read that tip in the previous episode. Now we go straight into the next fight. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. So my summons. Did I lose the goblin thief? I did not. Thankfully, it's just that he turned into a card when he died. Now. We have Barn Reapers. Aerials can fly over most terrain. Melee performs combo attacks when adjacent to an enemy. Plus defense. Da 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 da. True sight. You know what? Um, I think there's a reason that we got the Barn Reaper at that point in time. Uh, we are going to utilize him to the best of our abilities. We also leveled up. So let's start putting some. Actually, we got the Dextra, Dextra Scroll as well. So 10 accuracy. 10 base and B, that gives me the magic barrier, I believe is what it is. Um, 
We have special move jump reaction. Chico is also, okay, so we have one point each. Do I go past the threshold here? You know what? I'm gonna max him out at five. Um, if I give him, let's be a, oh, okay, I get it. So that top thing, once you get to love that tier one, which is five points, you end up getting um, uh, more of a bonus in there. So defense, uh, you know what, let's see. We get jump height, so do you know what? Chico has been on the front lines constantly. So I'm gonna give him some of that. So now she has plus 10 crit percent and her healing and move jump reaction. Uh, you know what, let us go through that. I'm not usually a fan of um, spreading uh, spreading points across talent trees, but something tells me this, uh, this might be a good thing to do, especially with this. Look at that, it's a percentage of HP that I'll be getting. Let us go and take a look. We have the spells, we didn't get anything new. So I keep doing that, hitting escape and going to the menu. Uh, can I reposition people on the battlefield? No, but I can see what we're going up against and it actually has their elements above their heads. So we have uh, two wind or earth, wind, earth, earth, wind, earth. I believe it's earth. Yeah, it should be earth. Uh, right, so. Put her there, and uh, yeah, okay. You know what? Let's uh, let's just go for it. We cast the spells. Subdue bonus in battles with two or more enemy leaders. You can gain bonus XP by wounding the enemy leaders without killing them. The bonus is only granted if at least two enemy leaders are alive at the end of the battle. So let me read that again. So. In battles with two or more enemy leaders, you gain an XP bonus by wounding the enemy leaders without killing them. So you down them, I guess? The bonus is only granted if at least two enemy leaders are alive at the end of battle. Okay, so I don't have to completely destroy them. I just uh, get them down on the ground and... Um, uh, yeah. Cool! I will give her haste. Give her some movement speed. Now, the two enemy leaders were the harpy over there and then our baboon friend in the bottom left. And they are going and buffing their friends, giving them a speed buff. We've got the goblin friend feeling ballsy and running right in there. This guy's going to get absolutely destroyed. I don't know what he was thinking. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have given um, the buff to Chico so he would have been able to move up one space. Uh, so I'm going to grant protect on everyone. And I will move him over here. And we are going to karate chop him. Kung Fu fist right into your chest. Now the Harpy's gonna make a move. She ends up buffing her Gremlin Witch friend over there. The Centaur goes. Critical hit with the poison. Goodness gracious me. So what I will do here is I will grant myself a chain attack because I know when this guy comes over, I'm gonna wanna hit him hard. Now I do have a body of water over there that I want to move Piachin into. Of course, he's going to go and cast that. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. Uh, Chico ends up taking damage, protecting his friends, and takes damage like that. Uh, now it is Piachin's turn, so can I make an attack from up here? I can. I'm going to get the bonus, and she evaded. I hope that uses up the evade charge. Ooh. Ooh, no. Okay, uh, I should keep Piachin close so then he can go and heal. Uh, what else can this guy do? So aerial fly over most terrain, perform combo attacks when adjacent to enemies, pierce also hits units directly behind the target. Ooh, weight skill, plus three attack for the duration of the battle. So I'm going to give myself wraith. Wraith wrath. Can't even read. We've got another barnyard owl moving right in. He gives himself three. Oh, we're going to go after Pyrokin. What was that? Is that a reaction skill? That guy got dummied. Okay. Now, Chico can go through. I am going to make an attack. Actually, no. I'm going to move Chico right here. Just so I'm positioned in front of that big man. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to get uh, Peony to make an attack. I'm going to give her that buff. Jody's going to get cast. Peony's going to move right here. And we're gonna hit him and we're gonna get a combo attack. Ooh, I got the pierce. Huh, I guess I can pierce diagonally. 
interesting. She goes in, she's gonna hit that guy, okay. These guys are having a little dance party up there by themselves. This guy's gonna roll right through, try to crit my boy, which he does, and he roots him. And I get knocked back. But Paiachin's ability, I gotta look that up. What is, what is he doing when he does that? Um, I don't even know. Wow, okay, cool. Let us go in here, and I'm gonna make an attack because Paiachin's gonna be able to uh, combo on Chico. Chico's gonna be able to combo. Look at that. Chico's very, uh... I'm sorry, I zoned out there for a second. <laughs> Chico works as a, a great attack unit, so what I'm going to do is I'm also going to place uh, this Barnyard Owl here. I'm going to attack him. I'm also going to get the Chico to attack. Is that yes? He'll do the combo as well. This game is really all about positioning and positioning your characters so that they can take advantage of combo abilities and combo attacks. So watch, I'm going to make this attack on this guy too. Barnyard Owl is going to make a hit. Now the guy's raging, so the thing is, I'm going to have to take him out before he's able to perform any actions. Otherwise, I think my life is over. Uh-oh. Okay, she just gave her true sight. That's it. That's fine. I'm good with that. This guy... Gotta give myself agility. Uh, I want to take him out because he seems to be the biggest threat. And now with the two combos... Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're going to keep him down, and I want that XP. So she, oh no, oh no, yikes. So that's why they had the uh, the challenge of having two leaders up, because when you have the NPC, of course they're gonna go and make the attack and then my boy dies. Ah, that is uh, absolutely unfortunate. She's gonna run away, it's okay. Paiachin, you can go make that final kill, turn her right into dust. The dusty old bones. Okay, uh, I have my spells available. I am going. Can I not open this? Are barnyard owls not allowed to open treasure chests? Make him face that way. Who can pick this up? Oh, I have to stand on it. Oh, I don't remember that doing that last game. Oh, the guy just came out of his house. He's wondering what the hell's going on. Here's all this uh, noise, and it finds out that we steal his treasure chest. Who the hell is knocking at my door? Um, let's see, so... Wait a minute, it is Paoli's turn. This sounds like I'm going to knock his block off. Actually, wait, I gotta move her here. I'm gonna move her closer to the scroll. Ouch. Doing tons of damage. She went and picked that up, made the kill. Hey, this girl is stealing all my XP. That is absolutely unfair. I'm actually upset at that. It's really like... Just, uh No, that's not fair. Alright. Uh, Barnyard Owl, I... You will go... Wait, this guy's weak to him, right? Yeah, you know what? Make that attack. Chico can't cross that body of water, of course, because he is a dog. Now the Harvey's just been standing up there. I love how they don't bother making any attacks. Can go grab that skull, scroll. I missed the letter there, the skull. Now the centaur is going to go in. But is she going to finish everything off? Okay. Uh oh. Oh, that's right. Chico is still defending. I am going to go and heal. Heals HP, yes. That's right. Heal him back to full. Okay. This guy is going to try to attack the barn owl. I just realized only. Um, the Barn Owl could make it over there. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. I'm going to cast this spell over on her. Let's see what that does. Of course she evades it. Why wouldn't she evade my abilities? That is cheesy. Dangerously cheesy. Okay. Barnyard Owl did that. It's Chico's turn next. We are going to run all the way. Actually, you know what? We can make it over. Um, going to try to give the Protector buff again. Hopefully the Barn Owl does not die. This guy gets true sight. Okay, you can see through walls. That's not going to help you. And I am going to move over here. What's her assist again? Yes, she can cloak her. You know what? Let's see if uh, this NPC is going to take advantage of that. So she's going to come. She's going to hit me. Okay. Oh, man. 
You know what really pisses me off when these guys evade everything? Right, is he gonna evade it again? Yeah, of course he is. Why like, wouldn't he evade? Okay, you know what? Uh, I will take that. I'm gonna cast that. And he's standing right in front of Chico. Now, I will move here. You know what? See, once his barrier is down, he becomes very simple to take down. He becomes a simp, may I say. Uh, inspire Enchant, plus 20 defense, evade. I am actually going to... Ooh, do I risk it? Because it'll be Peony, then all those people. Okay, cool. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to go right into there. Try to make an attack. She's going to look right at him. Uh-oh. Oh, she called in a, one of her friends. Okay, I'm actually going to have to heal him up later. And she gets a strike through. Yes, that is great. Oh, that's right. She gets her chain attack. How silly of me. I'm going to even forget that. Okay. She's going to get arrowed. She's going to evade. What else is new? Ooh, I just, please. Can you give me some good good? There goes the witch. Okay, round eight. We got our barn owl. I'm going to fly over here. Uh, let's see what happens if I give him that. Oh, it boosted him up in the turn order, which was absolutely perfect. Now that means I'm going to make uh, Chico run away because I don't want him dying. I'm going to cast that. Uh, Barnyard Owl is going to make a move and he's going to fight his brother. Oh, and he made a counterattack while he protected. Ooh, that is awesome. She's going to cast that spell on the Owl, which is fine because he's still going to live. And, uh, okay. So, this is the perfect time. I'm going to cast the spell right here and hit both of them. If you evade, I swear on my... Ugh. It happened. It always happens. Now, let's see. Back attack. Okay, her barrier is almost down. Now, the centaur lady makes a strike. Critical hit with the poison every single time. That looks like such a dangerous move. Now, finish your fire chip. Evade. I'm really getting sick of evades. All right, Chico, can you make it up there? Oh, wow. Okay, this is a back attack for the sentry. Ooh. She is done, ladies and gentlemen. The harpy's got nothing on me. We finally chased her down, took care of all the bandits in the area, and uh, everyone lived happily ever after. Ooh, wait, what's that? XP minus one? Looks like a little bug there, guys. What do we got? Haste, talisman, untouchable scroll. All righty. And we have another set of quests in the Valley of Queens. In the Valley of Queens, New York. Heralia, that necklace does not belong to you. Oh, this is the real Queen of the Harpies. I remember you. Didn't you run away last time we met? Why so brave all of a sudden? You had a better chance of fighting with the rest of your tribe when they were alive. Wow. What a biatch. This girl just wants her necklace of her family back, and you are there hurling insults, adding insult to injury, might I add. You will give it to me now. Mm hmm Oh, ho, ho. Oh, this is a boss fight, isn't it? Listen to that music, boys and girls. Why don't you come and take it? This heartbeat is talking a lot of crap, and we are going to lay her... Uh, uh, no, that came out weird. We're going to put her to bed, not lay her to bed. I am not into harpies by any means. Let's see, haste, enchanting, you know, with haste. Uh, you know what, we are gonna keep with the attack cards and all that now, the traits, we did level up, so let's get some more. So it looks like, you know what, uh, gonna give him some of that. We got, oh, evade. Okay, so we're gonna give Chico the ev evasion give Paiachen the accuracy, and we are also going to buff his assist power. And we are going to give her move and reaction and jump. All right, the summons now. We are still, we're still going to keep these guys. We're going to take the Barnyard Owl out, and I'm going to put the Witch back in. Actually, no. The Gremlin Shaman, I think it's time for him to shine and come back. And let's start this battle. He got... Come, my friends, join me. All right, there is a treasure chest on top of there. 
I always, uh, always forget that this world is kind of like modern because we have like destroyed cars and stuff there. There's no retreating during a boss battle. If any of your leaders are wounded and then defeated, the battle is lost. Uh, I guess the centaur lady also counts as a, um, as a, whatchamacallit, as a leader. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Chico up in the front, cast protect on everyone because everyone needs a bit of love from Chico. Gonna make an attack, Chico gonna make the follow up do 11 damage. This barnyard owl chose the wrong dog and crew to mess with. Oh, she's got that boss uh, crest above her head. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to move right over here. Just make an attack against him. Ooh. Steal enchant. Wait, did he actually steal something off her? Oh, he, he stole a true side enchantment. Oh, I got to take a look at that because I think that was one of his abilities. He's able to steal enchantments. He's a thief. Wow. This game just keeps getting deeper and deeper. I love it. Okay, recover. No, I don't need to heal anyone. Heals HP. I am not cursed at all. See, I want to see this again. So, Steel takes enchantment if he's killed. Oh, that is great. Okay, so I'm going to move Pyachin right over here. Actually, wait. Can I move him up here and he can jump? Let's see. Okay. I should give him a movement speed buff. Uh, if I give him plus six max MB enchanted with song if cursed, um, if I go and take him 50%, you know what? I'm going to take his shields down. I'm going to get the go gremlin, goblin, gremlin, 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 yeah, gremlin shaman to put a bit of work in. So now we're on round two. The owl is going to try to come through, try to attack my shaman. She will come through with the defense and the counter. If that isn't the most loyal boy in a video game you've ever seen, I don't know who is. Goodness gracious me. Chico is doing a lot of work. I'm going to go finish off this gremlin. I get the devour ability too, so he gets HP back. God bless Vampire Aura. Let's see if we get this assist. Oh yeah, he won't assist, unfortunately. Uh, Paichin's mission right now is to go up and grab that... Uh, grab the treasure treasure chest up there. I'm gonna cloak him. She's gonna okay. The reinforce. Wait, wait, is that a ghost shaman? She's gonna go nail him. Of course, the guy stood no chance. Oh, I can't climb up there. Bollocks. Okay. I wonder if oh the jump. If I put points into Peony's jump ability, she'd be able to jump up there. Unless is there a way I can. I can uh, move up there because it's what is the terrain is 3.25, right? As you can see on the right side. Um, hmm. I guess I can't jump. Let's see. You know what? I'm actually curious if one of these guys can jump afterwards to get up there. Uh, do I have a jump stat? Vertical 1.2 attack height range, attack range. Is there a movement? Jump one. Okay. So who has the ability to jump up there? 2.5, 1, 1, 1. Maybe if I had the owl. Oh, if I had the owl, he could have gone up there. Hmm. You know what? I think Chico might actually be able to move up there. So right now, it is the Goblin Shaman's turn. I'm going to take some revenge. Steal his enchant as well. Now, Chico might be the only person to make it up there. Might take a few turns to do this, guys. But, you know what? I want that treasure chest badly. Okay. We're going to speed through and try to set up uh, my guys for the final fight. Hopefully, she Oh, no, she's coming. Oh, Lord, she's coming. She did way too much damage as well. Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm going to give myself chain. Hopefully, uh, uh, what is that guy's name? Gremlin Hunter. He's not even a shaman. Okay, this lady's going to go. She is going to be healing up my guys. Paichin. Oh, Paichin can make it up there. Good boy. Okay, Paichin's sole mission is to go and grab that treasure chest. Uh, I'm going to give... Oof, I feel like that gremlin's going to really face the music up there. I'm going to give her some more max MB. Now we are into round four. Huh. Okay, who is most needed over here? I'm going to cast this on these guys. Good, she's weak to that. I barely dented her. Oh, actually, no, you know what? Uh, Chico, you're going to come back down here. 
because what I'm hoping to do is I can bait out uh, the guys to get near the cliff and Pyche, and once he grabs the treasure chest, he'll be able to, build, eh, he'll be able to uh, attack from up there. But give him haste as well. This is a really valuable thing. At the back. Oh, they're fighting right by someone's house. He just came out. Hey, what? what's going on, guys? Okay. Now she's casting all those abilities, giving them everything they need to try to fight. Uh, cloak enchant. Who can I? You know what? I can I cloak him yet? No. Okay, I'm gonna go and cloak Chico. And this man's gonna roll right up. Let's see. Oh, she can't. Can she even make it out? Or is she only gonna sit there and buff people? Yeah. All I really want is to see what is in that chest because it better be worth my time. Okay. So uh, I will get the Gremlin Shaman to come out here. Make an attack. He resisted everything. And Chico can now make a move, so I will give everyone an attack. Roll plus four. Oh, it plus four last time. Plus four. Plus four. Plus four. Plus four. Plus four. Alright. We're all plus four to up. Time to rock. He's probably gonna evade. I should have made him go and do a back attack, but he would probably would have gotten hurt. Uh, chant one move in speed. You know what? I'm gonna give her haste. Just so I can get her to move up. And, uh, give some support. Because it's Queen Harpy's turn next. She can come through. Use that beam. It's an ice beam. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see if we can do any damage. Another chain attack, which is one of the greatest things that's been helping me out. Okay. Oh, no. This is not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. We might be hanging on by a thread. She used the aim buff. Pyton's gonna go there, get that. Warlord scroll, ooh. Uh, that probably just ups my attack. Now she's rooted. Okay. Now 13 damage, one evade. I'm gonna make the attack on him. Get one XP to do that. Now, uh-huh. See if I give him one more attack. He's probably gonna end up dying. That was a silly move of me to put him in harm's way because he's gonna go. Oh no! No! You can't go up to Pyachin. Pyachin's gonna 1v1 her. Okay. Gremlin Hunter. You resisted. Okay. Okay, this girl, she did the aim attack. Oh yes! Skeletons and skulls. Now, Peony. Uh, I am going to cast 36, uh, causes 36, oh my god, I just realized how much health this lady has. So what I have to do is I have to take care of these guys 100%. This is going to be tough. Um, okay, I will cast that on her. I'm trying to take that barrier down. And then I'm going to get her to make an attack against this guy. Now, can I get the Gremlin Hunter? Yes, I can get his item. Ooh, yes, that's exactly what I needed, so now I'll be able to summon him later. Make the attack against him. Minus three defense. Pyatt should come through. Nope. No counterattack? Okay. Now, Chico. Ooh, I'm actually scared that Chico's gonna die in this round. Oh no, yes, that's right, I keep forgetting about Devour. She's gonna come through, and she... Did she res? What is that? Oh, that's a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we gotta take that uh, that totem out. Love how all my guys are dead, and now it's back to the OGs. Okay, this totem really needs to go right now. And Paiachin, please... Boom, okay, I couldn't risk having that totem up, because who knows what it would have done. Oh, that's right, it's gonna explode and hurt all my friends. Okay, Chico. I'm gonna go make a back attack, so this spell is ready. Cast a spell on her. See what it does. She'll evade it. Now Chico's gonna go from behind, perform a, a back attack. Yes, that's right. Now she's facing this way. She's gonna attack Chico, probably. Our king gets it. Plus eight magic, uh, magic barrier. Oh no, Chico's down! Wait, does Chico count as a leader? Okay, she's weakened by that. Okay, so now she's out. I can go and revive... Uh, Pai Chen. Okay, good. He's back up on his feet. 
I really need to start giving him more HP, I think, because, like, he is very wounded. Um, can I get water over there? No, I can't. Back attack, weak to air. If I cast this here, back attack, weak to air. Let's see. Minus three defense, that works. Okay, Chico's gonna go and make another back attack over here. We're just gonna have to keep her pinned and cornered. I gotta use mat strats. She's probably gonna summon someone, isn't she? Now that the poison hit her, she's gonna use the card and so Oh, what the hell is that? Oh no. Alright, this is not looking good. I gotta go and revive him again. And I can always take Paoli's turns. I gotta wait for this lady. This lady's like my only hope to actually succeed. So this guy, back attack. And if I go against her, it'll take down her barrier. Uh, what is that? 25% chance evade, 30% cold snap. Oh, this is... Uh, I'm actually worried for myself, guys. This is not looking good at all. Round 10. It's Chico's turn again. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast... Actually, wait. Is this, she's weak to this, right? 40% evade. Whatever. It's all I have. I'm going to cast it. She gets the evade there. Chico, can I go and attack this guy? Powder Jack. You know what? He's going to be uh, quite a bit of a nuisance, I imagine. Cast that. Yes. He is down. She's going to get hit by the poison. Hopefully her attention goes over there. Okay, good. Piachin evaded. We got a fighting chance. Gonna stand over here, gonna attack her. Okay, good. She gets the hit with a cold snap. Oh, cold snap, so I can't be a melee range. Huh. Now, is that buff still on her? Uh, let's see. Weak to that. Oh, yes, the combo attack. Let's go, boys. We are back in this. She's gonna do a cold snap again. Oh, with the evade. Almost comboed into that. And Piachin leveled up. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, we're gonna give everyone plus four attack damage. Plus four, plus four, plus four. Okay, now, I love how uh, your ability, if somebody's in front of you, most of the times in other games, you wouldn't be able to move around like that. But this one, let's see, 61 damage. All right, Miss Harpy. That's right, keep getting poisoned. Jump up on top of the car, try to hit Piachin. It's okay, he got that magic barrier. I don't need anything. Boom, let's see what happens here. 45 damage. Uh, is uh, this lady going to do the honor of killing her? No, not good enough. Piachin, let's go. Let's get that final kill, buddy. Oh, no, she evaded. Okay, it's all Chico. Chico, it's all you. Give her a back attack. And wait, am I positioned in the right spot? Yeah, I was over here, right? Enemy bot. Can you? Okay, there she is. Oh, she's on top of the car. Wow, my eye was very bad. Mm. We managed to do it against all odds, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Sometimes I even surprise myself. Look, I got out of that unscathed. I got my Warlord Scroll. Hopefully, it's attack damage. And then the Gremlin Hunter Talisman. I actually feel bad for all my friends that sacrifice their lives. Wait. Please don't kill me. Here, the necklace is yours. You think this will buy your life? I was going to take it back after killing you anyways. I have information you want, just hear me out. She's trying to trade information for her life? Uh, it's a weak. Don't kill me. Speak. Your tribe kept to themselves and you were always on the move. When I attacked, was it not the perfect time to do so? Your people had just stopped to rest. And your strongest warriors had set off to hunt. How do you think we knew when and where to strike? Get to the point. Don't you see it was one of your own? A centaur gave us your tribe's migration patterns. They told us about the sacred basilisk emerald your tribe held, and its ability to grow food in the most inhospitable areas of the Dora Wastes. I could not pass up such a prize. Wow. Betrayal. How dare you tell me these lies? I've no reason to lie, I was betrayed too. During the raid, the traitor made off with the emerald. They used me as a distraction to steal it for themselves. Wow. Leave the necklace and get out of my sight before I change my mind. 
I don't know why I gave her a chicken noise, but I guess she lived. Uh, Herelia is probably going to make it back somewhere later in the story. Are you sure we should let her go? The family keeps saying, I came for what I came for. I have what I came for. Let her flee for now. Child, I did not ask for your help, but I am grateful for it. You've helped reclaim what was taken from me. Don't mention it. That's just what I do. So, you're going back home now? This necklace is all I have left of my home. Heralia destroyed everything I knew. All that I ever loved. I've nowhere left to go. Honestly, I fully intended to join the rest of my people when I came to this place. I owe you a great debt. I'm called Orlowantus. May I ask your name? My name is Peony. What? It would seem face fate has a sense of humor. Does she know her mother? Huh? It's just, my sister would often scold me for not wasting my time with flowers. I wasn't around when Herelia and her bandits first attacked. Earlier that day, I had snuck off to gather flowers. When I returned, it was too late. She was, everyone was dead. This necklace was hers. If I had been there, I probably would have died as well. When you told me your name just now, I thought to myself, my life was saved by flowers once again. Wait, Peony's a flower? Oh, I see. Take care of yourself, Peony. At least I can repay you for what you've done for me. At least until. I'm gonna hold you up to that. Yeah, well, you know what? That's a big order. You just save. You just helped her avenge her family's death or her tribe's death. Uh, well, you know what? We just cleared the barren fields, and that was quite an adventure and an ordeal. And that's a wrap for episode three. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, tune in when we go to Igo's Descent. Goodbye.